Good morning. It's a little bit cool out here in the shop, about 12 degrees uh, Celsius. And um, I thought that this may, this a short video might be of interest to somebody uh, out there. Um, I recently purchased um, a face mill um, from China. Uh, it's uh, 50 millimeters, which is uh, about two inches, I guess. And um, I just wanted to, I, I made a couple passes with it, and I was impressed with how quiet it ran and what a nice job it did. So I just kind of wanted to share that in a quick video this morning. Um, I normally... I have a couple other end mills that I use quite a bit. Um, I think they're from Shars. Both of them are, I guess. And um, I use these quite often. Um, they're just uh, two flute end mill with inserts. And I can hog off quite a bit of material with them uh, using my mini mill. So they actually work quite well. I, this one's a one inch uh, diameter, and I also have a, one that's that looks just like it. Um, that's an inch and a quarter diameter. So the problem with those, uh, I do a lot of work with steel and cast iron lately, and they they work great for hogging off material, um, but they don't leave a beautiful finish. So I wanted. I saw this this uh, face mill uh, actually um, on Banggood.com, and they're about thirty some dollars. They come with the R8 shank, uh, the four flute mill head. They come with it, four inserts and the wrench. So you get everything you need for thirty. Thirty. I th I think it was thirty one dollars, but I'm looking again. It looks like about thirty four, thirty five. Uh, US dollars, but um, I I tried it yesterday. You can see a spot right here where I ran it across a piece of uh, 1018 steel. At least I think it's 1018, and it it ran so nice and quiet, and it left nice such a nice surface that I saw thought, thought I'd make a short video this morning and just make a pass with it, and you can see how it how it runs. So. To me, it's a it's a nice investment because I'm quite often unhappy with the um, with the surface finish that these end mills leave. Um, and you know, even I I use a half inch a half inch end mill a lot. Um, it's my go-to end mill for a lot of things, and um, just a uh, just a typical half inch um, carbide end mill and four flutes and I use that a lot but you know for wide surfaces I'm not crazy about the finish even with that the finish is okay but um, it, it leaves a lot of um, marks so anyway I, I thought that this might be a interesting thing to try out and I'm and I see now that it, I mean this this leaves a better finish than the fly cutter would leave so at least I think so so anyway I'm just gonna make a quick video this morning and uh, hopefully the camera I, I don't have a place to set the camera up over here so hopefully you'll be able to see it um, if not I probably won't post it but it looks like I've got it I could zoom it in one way or the other um, a little bit more I suppose maybe I should zoom it in to there so let's just fire this thing up and and um, hopefully it runs as good this time as it did the last time I tried it I tried it yesterday when this thing came in the mail so there we go I'm just going to make one pass with it, that's all. I, I don't see any sense sitting here wasting a bunch of time making a lot of passes, but I'm just going to make one pass with it. 
I will say that I didn't purchase this to try to remove a lot of material. I purchased it because it was a large diameter and I felt like it would leave a good surface finish so and also it you know it covers a fairly wide area compared to the the smaller end mills I have. So um, let's move the table and um, you can see how it runs. Move these end mills out of my way here. And I'm I'm not in a hurry here, you know. I'm not I haven't even tried to be in a hurry. I have, there's no lubricant, no cooling on this, just a just a piece of 1018. And um, it, it, to me it, it runs <laughs> I told her I sent an email to my friend up in Canada, I told him that um, it runs like a, as quiet as a mouse in the dead of night. So that's the way I feel about it. And I just felt like it would remove the metal like a razor blade cutting paper, you know. Just to me it was just astonishing how quiet it ran, what a nice finish it left. And um, So there it is, pretty simple, simple little video. I'm sure I could remove a lot more material, I could run it a lot faster, I could, you know, do a lot of things. But it's just, for me, it's just, I just wanted to use it to, to finish the work. So. There it is. Made a pass, about a four inch piece of steel, and uh, made a two inch swipe, or not quite the width of the cutter, but almost. That's it. Let me um, let me uh, let's get the cutter out of there. Let's see if I I think I can uh, remove it. Let me zoom back out a little bit. Okay. Let's see if I can find things around here. I think there's a little bit of paint still in the thread up here, in the drawbar thread. I noticed that yesterday, that that'll go away in a hurry. Well, there it is. Uh, got a big cap screw that goes in there to hold the head on. And, uh, it's got a nice shank. I don't see any funny marks on it from being in the mill, so it looks like it fits beautifully. And the the inserts don't show any any significant wear at all just running across the piece of steel. They look still look brand new, so um, these inserts aren't expensive at all. I think I bought a whole bag of them for like nine bucks. So I got lots of them if I need to change these. Well, there it is. I got a light. I got the light turned on here. So hopefully you can see. The finish is, I think the finish is pretty nice. 
actually. I wouldn't exactly say it's a mirror finish, but it's as, it's, it's as smooth as glass. I mean, you get swirl marks in it, but it's, it, 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 it's really nice compared to the other end mills that I've been using. So, anyway, that gives you an idea what you can get for a mini mill that uses an R8 shank uh, from, from China for $30, $31 I think I paid but I, I, I think you can buy these from the US uh, eBay I've seen them for uh, different prices uh, probably as low as 40 bucks so you can probably get something a little faster if you buy from US but from China, it, it came in, in uh, I don't know, 12 days or something, so it didn't take all that long. So, Anyway, I'll call off now, but I just wanted to share that with somebody that might be interested. Um, and this is just a typical uh, mini mill, nothing, nothing um, beyond that. So, um, it, 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 I ran this, uh, I might also mention that when I got it, and I chucked it up in here. I, I ran the uh, RPMs up to 2500. Actually, no vibration whatsoever. It ran as, just as smooth like it's perfectly balanced. So I was happy with that too. So I'll call off now and post this video. So hopefully it's, this is of interest to somebody. Thanks for watching.